Yona. I have decided today not to talk on this book. Because my friend Uday Bab will speak. He is the most eligible, qualified, eloquent speaker. And he knows in and out about this movement. But I will tell you what I have just said in my mother tongue that the battle for Konkani and statehood is the biggest movement in the history of at least post liberation Goa, which has brought lakhs of people on the streets, which has moved thousands of people to bear the police atrocities, to bear the police lattice, to bear the police imprisonment, to shed their blood and finally to shed their lives so that they have become the martyrs for the cause of Goa and the cause of Kokni and the cause of state. I will only say that even though I will not talk on the book which I have written because I want you to read it and I want Uday Bab to, to because he is the most eloquent speaker than me but I will only say the battle for Kokri and statehood is divided in 18 chapters and these 18 chapters are specially 18 dates which are given in chronological order which I may most humbly then most humility say that these 18 chapters and these 18 dates are the epoch making milestone in the history of Pokhari movement and of the statehood movement. I feel very nostalgic. Because I was young MLA in the year 1918. At that time the most difficult question for me whether I should take this battle in whatever way for Kokanian statehood myself, I was frightened. Because at that time, the most powerful party and the most powerful government was the government of Maharashtrani Gomantak party, which ruled not once, continuously for four years. They were so popular, and their philosophy was. Marathi is the language of Goa, therefore Goa is a part of Maharashtra and therefore Goa should be merged with Maharashtra. I call them champions of lost causes. Even at that time, they tried. Even after opinion poll, they moved resolutions and bills to make Marathi the official language. After much, much soul searching, it was my inner power of conviction that gave me the courage to move resolutions and bills on Kokni and statehood in and around the assembly that is what is all about this book. I will be feeling today in my duties. If I don't talk of all those who have given me their love, their support and I would like to thank all of you and all of them who have helped me to bring out this book. First today, I would like to thank Mrs. Namrata Ulman, the Secretary of the Legislature Department. Because when I wanted to get the copies of the resolutions and bills, I was very hesitant whether I would be able to get it. She not only got me the copies of the resolutions, bills, the debates and whatever, information, how many people participated, how many people opposed and how it was passed. I cannot forget Mr. Alishandar Muniz Barbosa. He has done a vast research, especially going to the all old newspapers, the newspaper reportage and come out with all that which was actually, which came back like fresh memories in my mind. Because I had forgotten after so many years, this has come back. Thank you, Mr. Alishandar Munish Barboza. 
I would like to thank Mr. Satyan Seni, Kenny, sorry. He has done the design and the production of this book in a record time. I would like to thank Mrs. Nalini Elvina D'Souza because she has given me the identity for this book and she has given me the number. I would like to thank Mr. Rani Agavedo for getting this book on my website. This book is already available on the Kindle and this book will be available very soon on the Amazon. I would like to thank Dr. Celsa Pinto because after the book was written, you know, I studied my primary education in Portuguese. So sometimes I make mistakes in putting the commas and points and sentences and all that. She was kind enough to read this book twice. And she gave me a few corrections. And uh, I would like to thank Joseph Clive Sequeira. I just told him a few days back that uh, the Honorable Governor has consented to release this book. I said, can you please help me in organizing because I was nervous. This, the bar hall for me, I remember as a small child during Portuguese time when the governor used to give us small books or small bags and uh, give us nice tea in the silver uh, uh, crockery and cutlery. So I remember with nostalgia those days, thereafterwards I was sworn in as a chief minister, as a minister in this historic Darbar Hall. So you have been kind enough not only to accept but to give us this Darbar Hall. I don't want to take much time because everybody must be looking at their watches. There are few more speakers to speak. Once again, my heartiest thanks, gratitude. To all of you for making this possible, in spite of being a Ganesh Chaturthi festival, in spite of having the torrential rains, most of you must have got wet. I hope you don't get cold. So once again, thank you very much for making it possible. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. जा तलमली तुम्हें बाबूल ले, त्याग तलमली तुम्हें बोरे ले, अनि त्याग तलमली तुम्हें आज बोरे ले। सड़ाने चलो देव बोरे करो जब यार सगले चलो बती। अम्मचे बती आसाद, जैसे लुइजिंग बाबा सांगले तांचे खास अशे ईश्वर, ओपनी चे सुपुत, ओपनी अभ्यसक अनि बाबूल भी। गॉय ओपिनियन कोला तंसो अनि है ब्रह्मास्त्र शब्दास्त्र जाऊँ हरेनिस गौर करन चा मना मनात पावले अनि जब मना मनात पाविले ते ओपिनियन पॉला वेड़ा मता मतात देवले अनि तादो रिजल्ट अमी सगरी जान जाना सुना परांत याद इसारे चे अंधले संपादन सन्ने चराती होतन सो काव्य संग्रह अनि मुद्दम सगरन चा वधिन सांगता कि इतले सुंदर पद सन्ने करना पर्व या या पुस्तक का साहित्य का दमित सो पुरस्कार तशेर आनी कितने शांत पुरस्कार अंचे मान करी अनि तानी है पुरस्कार स्वीकारो या पुरस्कार अंशों से करार धन गवर्नर जाल लो सा अंदोलन अत्यंत मुखार आई लहे व्यक्ति मतु सग्रह तांचा कर लान तांचा विचार आई को पाचे उमर शिकल लगले एडवोकेट उदय बाब भी म राज्यपाल श्री पी एस श्रीधरन बाप पिल्ला बोमानाधिक श्रीमती के रीता बाय पिल्ला मानाधिक आदले मुख्यमंत्री आदले खासदार अनि आय जय पुस्तक रिलीज जाता ताजे लेखक मानाधिक लोईजन बाप पलेरो बोमानिस श्रीमती रेचल भाई पलेरो अगर हम जब भी आशिक ले आदले मुख्यमंत्री आकाचे आमदा संपादक 
बोलिन बाबा ची घर ची बहनेनो अनि भावनो तुम घर सब ले नमस्कार बोलिन बाबा अनि निवेदिका बाय जब मुझे विशेष सागला ते किन्नर सागले तो ट्रेन प्लान कारो बोले अमी कोई कार इतिहास बढ़ाई था बरो जब वाइट अमी हर लोगों ही बरो वाइट इतिहास बढ़ाई था और अम जो एक डिफेक्ट था सो कि तो इतिहास बढ़ाई तो कुछ रोकरोच बोलूं दोबर पंचे समय अम करना अमी हिस समय ना शिक्षा जाइए के पार्टी हम जो इतिहास शुरू किया था, हम तो इस कोर्ट में कितने घड़े मुट्ठे थे, और तुम्हें इस कारण जो इतिहास साधारण बोलने में आसा, और आगे छाई जो कारण कितने घड़े, और एक बार ऐसा, ताकि आदि कदम मारे तीन छह वर्षा राज्य के लिए, कितना कितने घड़े, ताकि एक और एक बार ऐसा, अजी कारण आनी क्या-क्या � हेल्प होती है बदलिया। लुइजिन बाबर जे पुस्तक बुराई लाओ। ताजे मॉल इतिहास आज नगरे खूब असे। या अन्य हजार नहीं आए इतने पुस्तक का पसर आओ लुइजिन बाबर पढ़े रो। अन्य डॉक्टर फासिल जो इस गांव में मेमोरियल ट्रस्ट का और भी नहीं था। कि जब हेल्प नगरे इतिहास बोलूं जो वो तो ना जाले आप तो उल्लेख करें क्या कोई कुछ पाव सो ना आप क्या ना गड़े माया कोई चेलेब्रेशन ना ले मागे एक ऑफिशियल बोला है तो मागे एक लालबास सर वो बुंदा ली पर एक्चुअली कितने गड़े कौन है क्या ले अनिकाशी क्या ले ये कोई सुधो पर्स पाजे विधान सभी के लिए घड़े हैं कि विधान सभी के रिकॉर्डर नहीं था क्या लाइब्रेरी के लिए आप थोड़े नहीं था तो विधान सभी भाई भी खूब से कर लाओ क्या कौन करों दो उत्तर हो ये नंदने विचार करें जाले आप यहाँ उस तरह का चें मॉल खूब है विजय मामन सागले के सामने करें कि वो इच्छा लिबरेशन आउट प्रांत वह आदि ये दिन चलो बोल करना जाले ना अच्छा आंदोलन करना जाले ना करेगा साल ये विदर्भ चाह आंदोलन नशील है आमी वाउल ले उन्हें लोकांच आंदोलन नशील है मार्गनी लोकांच नशील है अने देखूँ लोकांच कष्टानी लोकांच प्रयत्नानी आमी जरूर मेरो पावल है। और अगर विषय था, वो इतिहास इतनो परीक्षण इन बोरों दोर पची भरोस की क्या कसा? ये बोरों पर पर ये दूसरी बात बिल खर्च करता। तो वे आज दूसरी कसले बड़े का मार खर्च से बोलूं बैठा मज़े लोग रहे आज परस बड़े काम दूसरे कुक तोड़े आज लिबरेशन का उपरांत जेंग जेंग घर ले ताज़े महत्व जरा मैं समझूं गया था ना जाले वो ही जो मॉडर्न में इतिहास में सार को समझूं जो उन्हें अशंका थी अनेक लिबरेशन आउट प्रांत विजन बाब जान का बैटल समझता है जो चरोबड़ी आंदोलन है लड़ाई करता है लड़ाई जो जाने हो तो उधर हम जी को उतना शिविर हो जाने किसे रखने से और सुधर को पार्टो विचार क्या लो जाने तांचे महत्वाम का कुरु लगता है यहाँ लड़ाई नहीं है अभी जब जो ही तो जोड़ू ना शिक जरा हम चा लिबरेशन आचो और चो खूब लिमिटेड दत्तवाशी 
até a Alemanha chamar todo mundo de Flor da Tuajiló, que em português é o Anil Rajki Sata Amjahatak Aili. Mas, Hitler tem só para ler isso. Porém, não é uma organização. Porque eu sou o Uri Zalé. Até a Alemanha chamar de Jair. Amin Swaraj Ubikuru Paule. Vikun. Ad Amidur Boy Ek Raja Sat. Zalar Kem Yan Rayani Mirahidya Zaita Kati. Don Kurushal Kinaile Gorincha Jinet. Anita Don Kurushal Kinaile Te Ek Opinion Polachimala. अरे दूसरों नजमास अंगों में जीवन या दोनों ही बांचेर अमीजर जो एक मेरो पावले ना शिल्ले जाने कितने दर्जन शिल्ले गोए आज एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट तो दर्जन शिल्ले एक वो दोन आमदार कच्चा कुछ रह विदान समेत आमचा कुछ तले शिल्ले बढ़िया मंत्री ये कोई अस्तु ना शिल्लो अने राज्यपाल कर फक्त एक डिस्ट्रिक्ट जाऊँ रहा होता है शिल्ले। ओपिनियन पोलांड अमीस पश्चिमी किन सागरे के आम का महाराष्ट्र के लिए मर्जर ना कर। अन्यथा जब संकट टाइम में आम चेक क्या भी टाड़े। अमी सागरे आम का आम के राज्य आम के चलो पचास। आम जी डिस्ट्रिक्ट आईडेंटिटी समान दो पचास। वो प्रश्न शिल्लो ओपिनियन पोला तो एक और इसे सात सिस्टम वर्षा आमी मैं को कह लो अन्य आमी सागले के आम का विभिन्न करण वो मर्जर ना का और ये इलेशन नेगेटिव आशिल है आम का कितने जाए मुन्ने सांचे परा सामने आम को कितने ना का कितने सागले और दूसरे जो एजिटेशन जाए तातुर का मी आम का कितने जाए के सागले अरे क्या निर्णय ले हैं क्या अंदोलन चाहे जोएं किसे मांग ले आदमी पहले तो तो आदमी मांग ली राजबास कायदों के बारे अरे कोकरी भाषे की लोकांची भास के भाषे के राजबास करे कारण अभी लोकशाही बाउंडर अरे देखो राज्य स्वरूप लाए क्या लोकांगा के लोकशाही के राज्य मरा लोकांचे, लोकांपसन, लोकानी तो लेते हैं। अच्छा ऐसा जलाते हैं लोकांचे भाषित तो लोग हैं। अन देखो राजबास कोई जी को भी जाऊंगा। दूसरे अभी मागले ते गोई घटक राज्य जाऊं पाक जाए। क्या बोला गोई यूनियन के रिटर्नी अच्छी है। ओपिनियन पोला वाला राम को बकर दोनों सोल्टर ने क्यों अच्छी है? अब जो मु एक महाराष्ट्र मर्जर और कंडीशन ऑफ यूनियन डेरिटेड तीसरा और डेरिटेड होना चाहिए। देखो अपने मर्जर ना कम होए अन्य अभी यूनियन डेरिटेड होने दे। अब तो बोला कि दूसरे तार यूनियन डेरिटेड या शिल्ड है, हम जो सरकार शिल्ड है, हम जो विधानसभा शिल्ड है, कितना इधर ही शिल्ड है स्टेट बोर्� ऊपर तो लक्षण देखो पाची खूब कर दो सा कारण खूब लक्षण मना था मैं वो बोलने को ले ला यूनियन टेरिटरी स्टेटस आग एक लिमिट है असेंबली आसा मंत्री आसा पूरी एक लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर और नायब राज्यपाल मनस्ता तो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर कायदा तक का एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर मरा लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर में वर्षा में वो लगा तो वो लगता बड़े का लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर मर अन्य सभी सत्ता या एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर रह जाता ये मंत्री मंडल आन जितिलो निर्णय बेस पे पर बास्केटर मैं तेरे को उपयोग की जरूरत है स्वतंत्र तो आमी विधानसभा नहीं बोलूं देता ये विधानसभा इसलिए एक सरकार घटता लोकांचे अरे ये सरकार जैसे कि कोरोना सत्ता ये नायब राज्य पलाचा आराम देता निखरी सत्ता ताज़ी करे 
आमक जो आशिली खरी सत्ता लोक लोक प्रतिनिधि कड़ी ती मेटली गोयक घटक जाएरी मगनी आशिंदी आंदोलन की ती को भाषे कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आठव्या शेड्यूल आसपा कर कारण हे भाषे खूप उगला खूप सोसला गोयचे भाषेचो इतिहास आम्ही पळोवंक वचत झाल्यार सिक्स्टीन एटी फोर वर्सा पोर्तुगेजान कायदो केल्लो कोंकणी मारून उडोवपाचो कोंकणी उलोवंक जायना कोंकणी बरोवंक जायना कोंकणी शिकूंक जायना कोंकणी शिकोवंक जायना संवसारात तसलो कायदो खंयच्याच सरकारान केन्नाच करूंक ना खंयच्याच भाषेच्या नशिबात असले केन्ना घडूंक ना ते आमचे भाषेच्या नशिबात घडले पूण भास जितिवून गेली ते तो कायदो जैतिवंत जालो ना थोडो परिणाम ताजो जालो पूण लोकांची भास जिती उरली लोकांची जिदे उरली मागीर एक कितलेशीच वर्सा गोयचे लिबरेशना आदी तुमकां सांगारा दिसतले की लिबरेशन जावचे असं गोयचे स्टेट्स रिओर्गनायजेशन एक्ट जावचे आसा इंडिया इंडिपेंडंट जावची आसा अशे वेळार मागणी जातली की एक दीस इंडिया इंडिपेंडंट जातली एक दीस गोय लिबरेट जातले तेन्ना गोय महाराष्ट्रात जावचे ना कित्याक गोयची भास मराठी नायन्टीन फोर्टी एकोणीसशे चाळीसांत ही मागणी जाली ह्या लक्षात धरा म्हणजे आमचे लिबरेशन जावच्या एकवीस वर्सां आधी जेन्ना भारतय स्वतंत्र जावंक नाशिल्लो रिओर्गनायजेशन ऑफ स्टेट्स कायदो जावंक नाशिल्लो आणि तेन्ना ही मागणी जाली आणि तेन्नाच्यान हो वाद सुरू जाल्लो हो वाद इंटलेक्चुअल लेवलाचेर चल्लो रस्त्यार चल्लो ना पूण जायती वर्सां चल्लो आणि मागीर जेन्ना गोय लिबरेट जाले तेन्ना हो वाद भाषेचो आणि राजकारण एकठांय जाले आणि म्हणून मागणी जाली ती गोयची भास मराठी देखून गोयचे मर्जन महाराष्ट्रात करचे ओपिनियन पोलांत आम्ही मर्जर भायर उडयले पूण आमची आयडेंटिटी आम्ही सांगली ना ती कशी सांगपाची आणि ती आयडेंटिटी दाखयली बगर आमकां स्टेट उड मेळना कारण स्टेट्स रिओर्गनायजेशन एकटा सकल भाषे प्रमाण राज्य केल्ले आसा देशात महाराष्ट्र मराठीचे राज्य कर्नाटक कन्नड भाषेचे राज्य तमिळनाड तमिळ भाषेचे राज्य केरळ मल्याळम भाषेचे राज्य गुजरात गुजराती भाषेचे राज्य आमकां जर राज्य जाय जाल्यार खंयचे भाषेचे भाज चालू आसा भास काय बोलली जे लोक गोय गोयकाराची भास मराठी म्हणटाले तांचो आर्ग्युमेंट आशिल्लो की मराठी ही भास आणि कोंकणी ही तिची डायलेक्ट देखून गोयकाराची भास मराठी म्हणटकच हे इक्वेशन पळय आसा त्या इक्वेशनाक लागून परत आमचेर एक संकश्ट आयले की जो मेरेन आमी आमची आयडेंटिटी दाखयना तो मेरेन आमकां स्टेट फूड मेळना म्हणटकच ह्या आख्या आमच्या भारतान आमचे आमची सुवात कितें ह्या 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 भोवपाशी भारतान आमी कोण हे सांगपा खातीर राजभास कायद्याची गरज आशिल्ली आणि त्या ज्या आम्ही ओपिनियन पोलांत आमची डिस्ट्रिक्ट आयडेंटिटी सांभाळली पूण राजभास कायद्यान आम्ही आमची कल्चरल आयडेंटिटी आख्या संवसाराक दाखोवन दिली की आमची कल्चरल आयडेंटिटी कोंकणी ही कोंकणी भाषेची ना जाली आसा आणि देखून स्टेट्स रिओर्गनायजेशन एकटा सकल ज्या प्रदेशाची भास कोंकणी आसा त्या प्रदेशाचे राज्य गोय हे आमचे देशांतले पयले कोंकणी राज्य आणि आज मेरेन एकूच कोंकणी राज्य 
विधानसभा आशि विधानसभा पार्टी राज्यपाल मेले सत्ता को सत्ता ही लोक प्रतिनिधि हाथ खरे स्वराज्य है जो सत्ता लोक हाथ लिबरेशन उपरान्त जो स्वराज्य मेले तो गोये घटक राज्य जाए तारीख तीस मे एक सत्या हंगा एक गजा मुद्दा संगूं जाए कि बड़ा राजनी अपने उत्तर सामा दिल्ले उत्तर पाए जैसे मनशा की प्रतिष्ठा क्या मनशा के स्टेचर बढ़ता ये हम आंदोलन चलता आसता प्रधानमंत्री आशि राजीव गांधी तो गोय आता दुसरे कसली काम तक प्रेसान विचार कि हंगा एक लोग मगण करता आंदोलन करता राज्य जाए तुम्हें रिस्पॉन्स क्या सरकार राजीव गांधी एक 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 बड़ो हिंट दिल तीन जाप दी पैली तुम्हो भाषे प्रश्न सोया मगर घटक राज्य आपशी जो लक्षण धरा राजभास करता पर चूक हम कड़ान घड़ी को राजभास चलव चलता आनीक एक चलव चलता मराठी राजभास कर गोई को जागर जो मराठी जानी जैसे गोये विलिनीकरण बर्जर महाराष्ट्र ओपिनियन को निर्णय आसूं क्या ये मराठी भाषे मोटे राज्य आसतना ते शादर मराठी भाषे इलेक्शन दाखिल राज्य को राज्य भी तुम बदले राखन दौर ले आंदोलन महत्व आसरे ऑब्जेक्टिव जो हम आशि गोय को भास हि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आठव्या शेड्यूला वी परत अभिमान दाखोपा कि हम भाष आठवे शेड्यूला आसा नहीं जी दार बंद आशि आठवे शेड्यूला ना मुकनी भाषे जी दार जैसे इंस्टिट्यूशन जैसे स्कीमी दार बंद आशि ती दार उगड़ गरज आशि भाषे उदरगति पास आठवे शेड्यूला जाए आशि जे वीस ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू दिशा घड़े तुम्हें सर घड़े खबर ही आसते कि कसले डिस्कशन नासतना कसलो विरोध नासतना लोकसभा राज्यसभा दिशा ये बिल पास जाऊ को भास आठवे शेड्यूला गई हजो अर्थ असो धरू ये कि ब्लेसिंग मेका देश आशीर्वाद मेो को उतरान विरोध करूं ना दिस भर बिल पास जाते रेर हम पार्लमेंट दो सभाघर लोकसभा लोकसभा बाटोपा राज्यसभा सगले जे मेो पाले श्रेय ते क्रेडिट लोक लोक चलवी लोक बल दिए बड़ा आधार सकते को गणेशन बाब मुड़िया कि बैठ मुझी मत बोट दाखता वो आने को बोट दाखता वे क्रेडिट लोक हजार लोग रोया मैदान आजाद मैदान जो जमोक नाशि जैसे सरकार प्रभाव पड़ो ना कितने आदल्ले कित बोवा घो कित हाथ पाए धोड़ा जो 
ती लोकशक्ती जी दिसली रोया मैदानाचेर आणि आझाद मैदानाचेर तिचो दबाव सरकारचेर पडून राजभास कायदो झालो आणि राजभास कायद्याक लागून आमकां गटक राज्य मिळून पावले आता हे सगळे कसे घडले ताचो इतिहास लुईजन बाबाल्या पुस्तकात असा ताणी मेटिकुलसली आणि श्रीमती उन्मन बायचो उल्लेख पळ ताणी केलो तो त्या खातीर की ज्यो तारखो म्हज्या एकमतीत नाशिल्ल्यो म्हाकाय खबर नाशिल्ल्यो त्यो तारखो सोदून काढून आणि सारखे जे किती घडले ते इव्हेंट्स तांचे सिक्वेन्स ह्या पुस्तकात मेळटा रोहिजन बाब फाडेर लोकां हिस्टोरियन न्हय अशी गरिया हांव गरजे जायत फाल्यां पूण पुस्तक जे तरेन बरयलां ते कोणेंय गिरायक मनशान जो रोहिजन बाबाक वळखना ताके जर दाखयत हे खंयच्या हिस्टोरियनान बरयलं काय म्हणटलें इतली शिस्तीन हे पुस्तक बरयल्ले आसा आणि सगळ्यो गजाली सांगिल्ल्यो आसा फुडाराक कोणी हिस्टोरियन गोयकारा मधल्यान वयर सरतले वो गोया भायल्यान म्हणल्या तांकां सोर्स मटेरियल जाय पडटा खंयचो इतिहासकार भाऱ्यांतल्यान माहिती मेळोवंक पावला हांगा डॉक्टर सेल्स बायपिंटो आसा हिस्टोरियन तांकां कळटा जावं ते सांगूंक सोदता ते सोर्स मटेरियल जाय आसता आनी सोर्स ऑथेंटीक जाय आसता प्रायमरी सोर्सीस जाय पडटा प्रायमरी सोर्सीस नासतात तेन्ना मागीर सेकेंडरी सोर्सा कडेन वचचे पडटा हे पुस्तक वो प्रायमरी सोर्स वो ऑथेंटीक सोर्स ऑथेंटीक किद्याक हे कोणाचे इंटरव्ह्यू घेऊन वो पेपरान किती बातम्या आयल्या वो दुसऱ्या कोणाले पुस्तक वाचून बरयल्ले पुस्तक न्हय हे पुस्तक कोणे बरयला जो त्या इतिहासात पार्टिसिपेट जाला जाणे त्या इतिहासात वाटो घेतला ताणे बरयला ही ताजी ऑथेंटिसिटी आनी रोहिजन बाब तुवें तुका घडये आज आज कळचे ना ताचे महत्व कितले ते पण आनी कांय वर्सांनी कोणूय तुझो उगडास करतलो की हे तुवें बरोवन दवरिल्ल्यान आमकां हे सोर्स मटेरियल सारखे मेळ्ळे युअर एक्सलन्सी एज आय सेड वी क्रिएट हिस्ट्री बट डू नॉट हॅव अ हॅबिट ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग इट इमेजिटली and as you know when history is recorded after a long time it's it's either distorted or uh, it's not believable sometimes mr palero has taken pains and has meticulously given all the dates and sequences as to how the battles were fought and how they were won therefore i said that this is a primary source and an authentic source it is not written by a third person who had merely watched what was happening he was a participant to who participated in it and i would request your excellency as well as, well as uh, every reader of this book to read it with a correction now it will definitely appear odd that i say in a release function or book launching function that it should be read with a correction <laughs> but i am pointing out to an error with due respect to vijin bab your excellency will find in the book that mr parero has described the battles and has described himself as a foot soldier this is a error the truth is that mr palero was a prominent leader of his movements and in the battles not a foot soldier it is his humility that he calls himself a foot soldier or 
आमकाय खबर आसूं जाए कि कोकणी प्रजे तो आवाज हि संघटना तेजे बावट्या खाला जुजले को प्रजे आवाज ऑफिस नाशि गोयत खेत ऑफिस खे आशि गुरुजन बाबा घर मीटिंगो खाली गुरुजन बाबा डिशीजन खाली गुरुजन बाबा सो द करेक्शन शूड बी इंस्टेड ऑफ फूट सोल्जर इट शूड बी रेड एज ए प्रोमिनंट लीडर प्रश्न उरता कि गुरुजन बाबान दोन पुस्तक बरयी अगर पैली पुस्तक सुमार बावीस वर्स आदि आये तुम तीन भूगेपण कुटुंबत कई गजाली आनी पब्लीक लाइफ कई गजाली तो चड़ चड पर्सनल मेमोर्स कि पर्सनल रिकलेक्शन अूप आशि हंगा जरी वैली वैर पे पर्सनल मेमोर्स और रिकलेक्शन असले तरी हूं इतिहास आसा आथेंटीक इतिहास आसा निमाने चैप्टर गुरुजीन बाब आप विजन विषय उलयता कई कड़ी सपन उतर आसा ड्रीम्स विजन ड्रीम्स ते हजे पैली उलयो उलो नहीं दाखयना जाए कसता विजन बाब इतर थामनासताना ते जे तुझे विजन आसा गोय समान गोयो फुड़ार कसो जाओ आज आसा ते एकदम बर चलता आने सोले समाधानी आसा अनले जोजन सोपन कहीं गरज ना पुण हा गो फुड़ार बर जो फुड़ार पड़ित जो अगर दिता जैर जे विजन तुझे आसा ते डिटेल्ड डिलेबरेट पद्धति लोक मुखार गरज आसा आखु ये बरोप काम हमें चालू दौरप गरज सपन आसा पुण सपन खरें कश कर विजन आसा पुण विजन अचीव कश कर संगी गरज आसा फुड़े पीढ़ियों के मार्गदर्शन जाऊँ ये मार्गदर्शन जाप सारे बड़ो ऑफिस कड़ी घड़े अब मांगता पर फुका आनी डॉक्टर फसिक लुईस गॉमिश मेमोरियल ट्रस्ट या पुस्तक उजवाड घता गोयचार इतिहास महत्व की पान कई महत्व के प्रसंग आशे कड़ुकी उजवाड़ घो तुम्हें खरतर प्रत्यक्ष दर्शी हा सग्या घड़ुकी तुम्हारा तो सग आयक खरली आम सग खीर खूब खाशेले आशे चलने चढ़ देव बर करो उदय भेमरे मे आई फाइनली रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल गवर्नर टू रिलीज दिस बुक द बैटल फॉर कोंकनी एंड स्टेट होड ऑफ गोवा प्लीज है always new and one of a kind such one of a kind book is being launched in the hands of a great writer and thinker himself honorable governor of goa as you since have said this book is available on kindle and will be shortly available on amazon we are congratulating you on the book and also for the release of this book which better place could we have found for the book release function on the the book which is on the history of goa then this very beautiful and historical places in goa rajbhavan itself thank you
Thank you, sir. It's rightly said, how deeply you touch another life is how rich your life is. And we have such a personality amongst us who has touched so many lives with his thoughts, with his write-ups, with his numerous books. Author of so many books and our honorable governor, may I kindly request you on behalf of everybody present here to enlighten us with your valuable thoughts. Honorable Sri P.S. Sridharan Pillaji. Our constitution also 
decided the fair who is supreme under the system after the constitution there also our constituent assembly members were very very much interested in disowning the principle law of our freedom related to our freedom in 1947 british parliament passed a mother law legislation through which our country has got freedom in 1947 some lawyers are here it is one of the basic things that if principal law is not in existence disappear all rules and other things would automatically go then cross act and so on so i'm not going to the details anyway in 1947 and after that in 1950 while our country was declared as a republic sovereign democratic republic at that time then as far as our country is concerned the majority of the people are illiterate and last provision in our constitution 395 that's a delete provision deleting the freedom given to india by a parliament a legislation that was set aside the provision is there then who would be the the owners of this this freedom this constitution then answer is given in the first sentence be the people of india so the people become supreme i am always stating in my main speeches that to bring out whether it is supreme parliament whether it is supreme the supreme court of india whether it is supreme so under the constitution the people of india they are supreme their will is always reflected through balance that is a guiding concept guiding lights for the for our setup in india then in 1952 first election the decision be taken by the judges the ordinary people of this country and these people are concerned more than 60% are not in a position to even read and write then jawala nagaru the suspect is put to jawala nagaru he replied that the politician should teach the people ordinary people the political workers are considered as the teachers they will have to educate the mass i am always thinking i am not giving any answer as a governor i don't want to go to this point whether our political workers whether they are educating the mass of political and the current affairs in the country we are presenting before this judges whether our system our political system whether a party b party or c party or d party whatever may be the party or even t party whether we are succeeding our attempt my personal opinion is that day by day this studying proper process even the teachers at least they should study whether we are succeeding in our attempt i put it to two former chief ministers are here senior leaders of goa this question and the total how many books there are no those books i need not tell you about that all this left leader yam shankar namit pro from kerala he has written more than 130 books all political leaders good writers 
and even literary field also, Tapas position was held by the political leaders of India during the first 25 years of our country. So I am happy that this is for the last book, an occasion to go through it, a fine book, not only layout, but the contents also, historical aspects are there, and how to present it properly. If you are starting to read a book, if there is an inspiration from that, if it is readable, then that book will be depicted as a successful book. In English, Oxford University Press, Max Millen and other things, there is eight days who even whatever may be a Nobel laureate or whatever it may be, if a book is given, then an editorial board is there. They will uh, do maximum justice to the contents. At the same time, it will make, they will make it as readable. If a book is not readable, this faith I don't, I need not uh, talk about that. Here is a book where this gentleman, just, just like a story, we can go through it. So the success, send person success in your attempt and I can really on behalf of the people of Goa. <laughs> the battle for company. The battle for statehood. In all these aspects, uh, first is this chapter is related to 1980, he became an MLA of Congress party. Then <coughs> private members resolution on as Kongani as official language for union territory. That is unanimously passed according to his writing. And uh, thereafter another chapter that is regarding Indira Gandhi, the Iron Lady, how he uh, visited her and how he, is, he was able to achieve certain goal. So I am not going to the details, you purchase a book and uh, go through it. <laughs> and resol resolution for statehood also is there. So many things are there. I am, very, I, am, I am very happy to say that if I want to go for some talk or something, if this book is with me, I can very well tell before the people what is the history of uh, Goa after 1961. And another, another thing I want to place before you is that as far as books are concerned, worldwide evaluation on the reading habit, I would like to say the people more and more reading that is a violation as far as the world as a whole is concerned. In India, recently I visited Kerala. The three or four main publishers are there. Then I asked a question whether we are book selling, what is the position? And they also saw before me that secretly that trade secret that the percentage of sale is increasing day by day. So that is why I am in Goa, I don't know that real picture. Goa, we all know Yesterday, while releasing my book, one of my ministers in the cabinet stated that Goa is a Delhi place of gold. Kerala is a God's own country, but Goa is the Delhi place of gold. That is yesterday in this world to say it. So, in this Delhi place of gold, I am requesting more and more reading habit should be introduced among our new generation. 
Otherwise, what will happen? You not know, going to that circuit. The language, Pongadi language, is a very beautiful language. I tried my level best to study about Pongadi language, but language as such is not a, 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 easily digestible for me. But at the same time, I am asking people whenever, whenever some uh, top patients are coming and meeting me, I will discuss with the language. I am frankly saying one thing. The most dangerous thing in the language field is that in the UN study, it is disclosed recently states that one of the dangerous trends in the education field is that the local languages, mother tongue, is dis disappearing from various parts of the various parts of the world. In India, it is also the same thing. During the last hundred years, altogether 7,000 languages, mother tongue, were there. Out of that, 40% are already disappeared. But you will study on the subject, they are very much worried about it because the study shows that if we study, a student study science subjects, engineering subjects, medical subjects, if it is through local language, that will be more digestible to the students and uh, so many examples also given in that report. So, mother tongue, whether we are giving importance to that, the anxiety expressed by the author of this book, I, would, I, I will also share, it's a cooperate with him and that, I am sure, with my viewers also sharing with him. In 1956, there, there was an amendment to the constitution. That is the seventh amendment to the constitution. Subject to correction, I am quoting a section. 350A, I think, subject to correction. 350A, an amendment is introduced and through that amendment, you see, all the children in this land are concerned that children are studying in mother tongue is declared as a fundamental right of the children up to the age of 14. Goa, we all will look into that aspect. Why we are giving mother tongue importance? And what should be the language to be followed? I am quoting <coughs> Dr. Ramanavar Lohia from my memory. He was very beautifully written about it. He expressed his views to his party workers at that time. Of course, pioneer in the agitation for Baba liberation in 1946. We all know he studied in foreign countries, western countries, and Ramana Varlogia is considered as one of the best speakers in English. But in, according to my information, I had occasion to go through his speech in 1946. He used seven places the word Hindustan, Goa, should be part of the Hindustan. The word used is Hindustan. I am stating with respect to this aspect because once his political followers asked the question to him, Sir, we are working among the village people and more than the majority of the village people are illiterate. Then how can we convey our school of thought, our ideology or our political thought before the people? Then Ramana Lokya answered that the language should be 
the language of the heart the language of the heart i mean not urdu hindi english arabic or any language but people can understand the language of heart language of heart very easily that was the opinion given by dr ramana mukherjee just given so so many examples so i am not going to that as well if you go to a village to an illiterate person if you put the word harichandra in the middle you can say the embodiment of truth so like that you have to approach the people so language also language if we look into the language what is the purpose of the language preliminary primary objective of the language is to convey the idea so conveying the idea knowledge of the language is not required simply speaking not required but if we put things in a literary way that will last for a while of course uh, two chief ministers proud of chief ministers are here of course we all know know about them but i can put a question to you if i ask whether you know shakespeare all of you would say with the confidence that shakespeare is not to you and his name is not a strange thing to you but if i put a question who was the ruler at that time of shakespeare powerful person at that time in the ruling arena can you really say answer no yeah and that exception the one or two people say students can say by a large 95% of the people can him mom if i put a question to shakespeare anybody i have never heard about shakespeare can raise their hands no that's a difference that is what saying this political governor is a protocol is number one after few months or few years who will care about me my staff is not there it's <laughs> five months six months back one governor from northeast he was a minister to raj but i was not here and he was not the secretary at that time raj raj I'm very sorry to say you can feel my feelings. Even our Rajwar staff didn't care. That's, that is the power. It is a power. It is an intoxication. You are the chief minister. So the political power, apart from that, people are supreme. Convey with the people your attempts. This book will after your I am not saying anything about your death or anything. You are doing it. So this book will survive. Through this book, after two hundred years or so, your grandchildren or great grandchildren say this is a book written by my grandma or grandfather or so. So I can say that our political setup, especially. senior political leaders they study things and teach the people as is said by our jawala nagaru that is the need of the hour for our political our, our democratic setup or otherwise these types of things is up in the assembly or in the parliament the person is making a very good speech on economic things or labor things or what or maybe can we see a single word in any newspaper no people is interested in reading sensation news it's a to go away and see what is about turn for the so this type of things are going who is there to teach the people ordinary people ordinary people are concerned everybody normally are busy Then to teach them what is happening in our country, 
What is happening in the, our society? What will be the danger facing our children? So awakening the people, there, our system is failing to a very great extent and reading and writing is the remedy available to that problem. So this book is concerned. I am very happy that he will have write more and more because he is a, was a, an experienced politician. So academicians and uh, what is the difference of academicians and politicians? Academicians, of course they are uh, having sufficient knowledge with respect to subject and so many things are there. But practical experience of a public worker, especially politician, they can convey it to the society, to the people. That a God's gift and every day you just think about who is accountable to society. IAS officers are here, judges are here, so many public workers are here. Only politicians, at least once in five years, they will have to face the public. You will have to give answer to every aspect. So accountability, whether a judge is a judgment, can he accountable to the to any system? Appellate court can consider it. No role for that judge there in the appeal stage. Appeal stage, appeal stage is both sides arguing and the other lawyer is pronouncing the judgment in the RP. Whether I, I am not uh, going much on that because the governor is saying, I don't want to create any, any, any type of uh, such things. You will, I am sure that you will write tomorrow that judges are not accountable to society. That is not fake either. So accountability directly, the politicians, they will have to give answer for each and everything. The life of the politician family also, they are the victims. 24 hours, political leaders are engaged with respect to the society's other people's affairs and their problems. And the natural justice, actually, that the, uh, the companion and your welfare. Sincere politicians, they are not able to do justice to their family. That is also another thing. Under such a condition, a senior most politician has written a book. I am requesting you write more and more books. And that one will be always with you. I'm extending, I'm giving a blank check to you. You proceed in your way. Thank you very much. And uh, best wishes for all of you. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Honorable Governor, sir for these enriching words of wisdom. Thank you very much. It is always an honor to hear you. Once again, I thank Honorable Governor Sir. As we proceed towards the end of this function, let me pull your attention uh, to this Stanley at your right hand side on stage. Sir Falero has dedicated this book to all those who suffered police bullets, harassment, prison, shed their blood, gave up their lives and offered their services for the cause of Kongri. We salute each and every volunteer and fighter who dedicated their lives for the same cause. Khanadi Sami Itya Saglayam Arga Oktat Ani Kaza Cha Khalayan San Tanga Naman Karta. I now call upon Ethan Falero, grandson of Honorable Eluizan Sir, to deliver words of thanks. Ethan Falero. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Dr. Francis Luis Gomez Trust and Mr. Luisino Falero, I would like to extend a heartfelt gratitude to the Honorable Governor of Goa, Dr. P.S. Sridharan Pillay and Srimati Rita Sridharan, 
also Shri Uday Bhimbre, all media personnel, and to everyone else who has graced us with their presence today. We understand your busy schedule in this auspicious week of Ganesh Chaturthi. Nevertheless, we appreciate your gracious commitment to share this momentous occasion with us. Thank you once again and have a great day ahead. Thank you, Ethan. Kind request to everybody to rise for the National Anthem. 